about a year ago I had abdominal pain and went for tests and found out that I had an abdominal mass and all the tests that I then received it was diagnosed as unknown source primary but the cancer cells were similar to cervical cancer so they treated um, my follow-up treatment for that was then similar to what was done with cervical cancer patients. The prognosis is good. The t tumor has shrunk considerably, and so we're in about a month we we'll, should know the results for that and be able to proceed as, as we see need to. Basically, throughout the journey, um, I've had a lot of people. Uh, first of all, you know, God's been with me the whole time, um, giving me a lot of support. And then my family, my husband, my um, son and daughter and daughter-in-law and future son-in-law. Um, and then my immediate family, my parents, my in-laws, my sisters, and all my co-workers. Um, they've all given different levels of support through cards, notes, phone calls, prayers, visits, the whole works. I've never been on so many lists, <laughs> good lists for a change. Um, but um, they've all been rallied round and given me all kinds of support to help me get through all of this. The doctors here at the Cancer Center and the support staff here have been excellent. I mean, I can't say enough about them and their support as well to make you feel comfortable when you come in here and to go through your treatments and providing you the best care and support that you could ever. Probably the biggest phrase would be don't sweat the small stuff. Um, the, the outlook has changed. I, pretty much of a control freak and I've learned that I'm not in control. Um, there's a higher power in control and I've gone down a new path, a new path of people that I've met and friends I've made over this journey that was totally unexpected and has just put me in touch with a lot of wonderful people. I would say to if for anybody new going down this process or if you know of someone going down the process the biggest thing is to just be there and support whether through phone calls or conversations or notes um, whatever they may need um, everybody needs different levels of support at different times but just to be available and make yourself available um, to them as a resource would be excellent.